So my living room here, the piano room, has been taken over by Paganini Project Wardrobe. This is all for the photo shoot and it's all from my closet. Couldn't believe all these finds. Here is a great example of the soft hard combination. I keep talking about a nice little lace sheath. If you look, simple neckline uh, and I'm pairing it with this great little ruched short sleeve leather jacket. Underneath you'll see just a strapless top here, nice v-neck. Over here you'll see uh, this is actually a bridesmaid's dress. Very simple little burgundy A-line dress that I've paired with a samurai, I call it a samurai belt, chunky belt there, just for a little edge. The black pumps that I paired with this dress when I wore it at the wedding, just simple uh, black patent leather pumps with a platform by Guess. Accent pieces are crucial for a shoot. This is a lace jacket kind of a Michael Jackson reference. Probably never actually wear it in public, but great for a shoot. Uh, here is a little silver pleather jacket that I have worn out a lot. Always get compliments on. That texture will be great on camera. Here's my big glamour piece. You see this cute fur shrug. Probably never see me wear it in real life, but for a photo shoot, it's great. And this cream gown, wow, it's just Gorgeous and soft cow neckline and great detailing around the waistline, some pearls and lace. Very soft look. I think it'll be great on camera. And a surprise, a little soft and hard, some snakeskin strappy heels. Okay, probably the most literal uh, Victorian reference here. A corset with some great brocade. Um, Again, in the burgundy tones. And this, you can't tell, the lighting is so bad, but this is a dark gray bloomer pant. I bought these years ago, and I have worn them before. Uh, not many people can pull off a bloomer, so I'm excited to see how they photograph. Little black shrug. You never know when that's going to come in handy. Ah, uh, This is a great, what I call, fantasy piece. Wonderful detail on this black gown. So just multicolored beadwork here, pulling on these sequins. Strappy hemline, so you can twirl in this dress. This piece is an Indian-inspired, kind of sari-inspired uh, gown that I actually designed. Some detail there. Um, and that's the fabric up close. It's a rust color. And the hemline was actually symmetric, asymmetrical. Here you're looking at a leather pant. You never know when you're going to need that. And over here are two pieces with a lot of turquoise in them. Do you remember that picture of the jade green doors on Dauphine Street? Uh, I'd love to wear one of these dresses on that street. Maybe run in them. Again, this turquoise gown uh, had strappy hemline too. It's a little red and black mini skirt with some lacy detail. Uh, moves really well. It's a great reference to uh, the red and black color story that I have going. And here is uh, the piece de resistance. This is my big waistcoat reference with the puffy, uh, fluffy white shirt that we always see when we see um, old school composers and pictures of them. Uh, I couldn't believe it, but this is actually I, the outfit I wore for the talent competition at Miss America without the white top. Um, and I couldn't believe how well it fits into the theme. Here is another sparkly piece. It's a black sequined uh, cocktail length dress with sheer accents. I always say it's my granny dress. <laughs> we'll see, maybe next year. And here's a black lace booty by Chinese Laundry. Shoes and accessories are gonna be key, strappies, pumps, silver, Metallics are important. These are my moonwalking shoes. <laughs> you never know what you're going to need or what you're going to be inspired by. So you want to have lots of different pieces, lots of different feels to be able to, to work with the setting that you're in. Fishnet stockings. Um, I have a plan for those. Of course you need accessories. I have lots of pieces. 
you know, a lot of times, though, less is more. So some of my flashier pieces probably won't get that much play. But you take them just in case. These are some of my favorite earrings. I get compliments on them every time I wear them. Um, what else? Let's see. Jewelry, like bracelets, earrings, pendants, cuffs. All of these things make for a fun photo shoot. You never know what you're going to need or when you're going to need it. So they come in handy. A nice soft bracelet. This could go with that off-white ensemble. And these are fun earrings. I doubt I'll get to wear them. Usually most shoots, most shots look good without earrings. You saw some pearls there. Those red, white, blue pearls I actually wore for my last album. And this is a great piece. Reminds me of something you'd see on the Titanic. So that's a sneak peek of some of the pieces for the photo shoot wardrobe. Tune in on Sunday to see which pieces we use and to see where we actually go to do the shoot. See you soon.